Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be going through Polar Opposites. That is the latest variant, Variant 3, to enter the contest. We're on the final chapter, and this is the first quest. So we're looking through the paths to find out which one is the easiest, because that's one of the goals of this video. I want you guys to be able to complete this without too much difficulty. Now, most of the time, you can look at the star level of the treasure on the path, that little chest there, and that gives you an indication of how difficult that path is. That's not always the case, but in this case, it is. So the far left path is going to be the easiest. All you have to deal with there is Hurt Locker. Now, Hurt Locker, we had to deal with that already if you've done other content. And uh, I believe it was in Act 6. You just have to remember not to fire off two specials in a row that are the same. So no special one and then another special one. Or no special two and then another special two. Okay? And when you fire off your special, like that, you'll see that number two. That lets you know that that was the last special that you threw. So if you throw another special two, you're going to take a lot of damage unless you can hit them with a heavy within a certain short time frame. All right. It's much easier to just avoid it. And of course, if you're going to kill them with the special two, then you're OK there as well. All right. Now, there are four globals that you want to be aware of. Apex Manufacture. Composite Construction, Stack Overflow, and Overclock. Apex Manufacture, Sentinel is going to gain his analysis charges twice as fast. That is huge, especially if you don't have him awakened. That means he's going to get to his 100 analysis and be a beast much sooner than normal. And if you're going against a mutant, it's even faster. It's insane. All right? Uh, the other thing is that his attacks are going to do 1% more true damage per charge. And he has 100 max, so it effectively doubles his damage. All right? Very, very powerful. If you have a 4-star Sentinel and a 4-star Ghost, and that's all you have, bring them. Sentinel is a beast as a 4-star. I would recommend you max him out as a 4-star, but he is a beast. All right. Uh, the next one is Composite Construction. Uh, all techs are immune to ability accuracy modification. So when you're going up against, say, uh, Domino, you know how you get a lot of those crit failures on your abilities. You won't have to worry about that anymore if you use a tech champion. Uh, if you're going up against Magneto, say with Ghost, you know how she gets magnetized. You won't have to worry about that either uh, because of the global. So it's awesome. I love it. So tech champions are definitely the MVPs for this entire quest. And in particular, Ghost and Sentinel. All right, stack overflow for each additional tech champion on the attacker's team uh, it'll increase the duration so say for example you have spider-man stark enhanced you might bring miles and then fill out the rest of the team with techs that's going to give you 30 percent longer stun duration and miles has a synergy with spider-man stark enhanced where he gets an extended duration stun and starkey has a guaranteed stun on his special one. So there is a lot of fun that you can do with that. Build up almost to a special two, then just start firing off the special one, stun him, build back up, and just keep doing that until you get to the point where you're not gonna be able to build up another uh, special one. And by that time, they probably are at uh, their level three. So you stun them that one last time, hit them with a heavy, that'll drain them and then bait out their special. And then you just do it all over again. So a lot of fun. You don't need tech champions. You can use other champions, but 
The fourth global is overclocked. So any tech or non-tech champion that you bring is going to have their damage cut in half. So if you do want to bring someone, bring someone that has a lot of damage, like Hyperion. You're not going to notice the 50% when you build up a lot of his Furies. The other thing that you can do is boost. I didn't boost for my initial run, but during my exploration, I boosted twice and it made a world of difference. I used the longest boost and they lasted me for the entire uh, exploration of two chapters. You know, I had one path done in all of them. I boosted, fully explored one uh, chapter, and then fully explored another one on another boost. It goes so much faster, especially with Ghost. All right, so those are the four globals. Now, as you've seen, we've not been having too much difficulty. Uh, Ghost is just beautiful for this. And I've not, so far, needed to use any items. No health potions, no revives, nothing. All right, uh, so, Next up here, I'm checking here because I wanted to make sure we were at a fork in the road and I wanted to continue on the easy path that had the Hurt Locker. Okay, now Spider Gwen, she is now a pretty annoying defender. However, when you are playing with Ghost, that initial hit, like right there, cannot be evaded. So that's why you see me just doing one hits real quick here. All right, so I don't have to worry about her evade. You see how she does have some evade charges, but it's not gonna matter. All right, and then I just fire up that special two, which also cannot be evaded. And then I phase, so I don't even take the recoil damage. Wash, rinse, and repeat. So right now, I wanna bait out her special two. There we go. Now that one could have been evaded. It wasn't, but I was ready for that. And then we're back to what we were doing before and take her out. Not having to worry about her crazy evades. Ghost, definitely an MVP. I used her more than I used anyone else, including Sentinel. All right, so now we've got the hood and we're still dealing with Hurt Locker. I checked to make sure that I didn't go to the wrong path by mistake. And I'm going to fight him with Starkey. Now, Ghost can do it, but I like a little bit of variety. And I, you know, do enjoy fighting with my uh, Starkey. Uh, sometimes it is a little bit more difficult to get poise charges on Hood. But I usually manage to do it pretty decently. Now, you do not want to take blocked hits if you can uh, help it. Because they have a crazy high attack. And so they will do a lot of damage into your block. And of course, Starkey is a glass cannon, but there we go. I fired off my special two. Now I have to remember not to fire off another special two unless it's going to kill him. Otherwise, I'm gonna take a lot of damage, all right? But we're not gonna have to worry about that. He's not gonna survive uh, for me to get to a special two. That's one of the reasons I consider this path to be so easy. All right, so if you're doing your initial clear, that's the path I would recommend. Now, based on your skills, based on the champions you're using, you may decide to use someone else. But that's the path I would recommend for your initial clear. All right, now we're fighting Colossus. This is the last time you'll be able to fight him when he doesn't have whatever buffs they're gonna give him, because he will have buffs. All right, so he that, has that hit me, I dare you, and the uh, chitinous thorns. Basically, when you hit him, he's gonna do some bleed damage, all right? That's what you just have to remember. Bleed damage when you hit him. Don't worry about the charges, just think that. So if you're going up against him, with any non-bleed immune champion, well, we're gonna see what happens here, all right? Now, as you have probably seen in my other videos, this is what I like to do, okay? I like to go in with someone I know is not gonna do it, just to see how much damage I could do. Now, I should have been able to do a little bit more damage there. 
I knew I was going to die quickly, but I had taken a few blocked hits that I didn't mean to. Okay, so that bleed damage, as you saw, is vicious. All right, so now Ghost can do this. But the tricky thing with Ghost is you have to be careful and make sure you phase that bleed away. All right, so here you go. You see he's building up his charges. All right, so we're fine here. He's playing a little coy. I hate when they do that uh, to Ghost because it really messes up your rhythm. All right, but we're still hitting him just one time. I'm watching that uh, charge counter there. All right, once he gets to 10, saw the bleed. All right, so what I did there, and you see there, I'm taking a lot of damage uh, even while I'm firing off my special two. So that was something that was surprising to me. I didn't realize that, okay? But I have a lot of furies. You see how I'm just racking up the furies? And so what I would recommend is just hitting him one time, phase, hit him once, phase, hit him once. All right, but that's gonna do it guys. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. Hopefully it'll help you guys out on your initial clear. And you all have a blessed day.